Welcome back everyone to the Average Reloader. Today we're going to check our case capacity uh, between our fire formed and non fire formed 6mm mongoose brass. There's a fire formed case, there's a non fire formed case. It's been primers in both of them. Uh, <clears throat> this is Lake City brass, but if I can get it to focus. Lake City 15 um, so obviously there's gonna be a little difference there I don't think I have any star line that is fire formed yet so this is what we're working with for now uh, if it <clears throat> is a difference between the two we can always check it in a later video um, but I just want to check our difference in case capacity because it is rather large between the two. Because you can see that one has some case taper and the other one pretty straight. So we're gonna go ahead and get some empty weights here. Make sure we're pretty consistent. Florida. Lake City is more consistent. We'll do one more time. We're going to get our average here. pretty easy to average out let me go ahead and figure this up what our average is going to be on the non-fire formed all right so our average for the two is going to be 95.4 for the fire formed and 103.6 for the non-fire formed. let's go ahead and get these dudes filled with water a syringe Okay, a big thing I feel like on getting these things pretty accurate is taking that bubble off of the top. I mean, it's fairly easy to do. Just, you could use a uh, paper towel. You can use your finger, just like I was doing. Wiping the excess off the outside just to get you a fairly accurate reading. All right, 126.34. Let's fill non-fire formed one up and we'll alternate back and forth between those two.
you. All right. <clears throat> All right, guys. So it looks like our difference between the two is going to be right around two and a half grains almost. Um, pretty significant, especially when you uh, get up into a compressed charge. I mean, that's two and a half grains is, is quite a bit. So... That's what we're dealing with between the fire formed and non fire formed on the uh, mongoose. <clears throat> that explains why I can get, uh, you know, an uh, 85 grain bullet in the fire form brass with uh, 25.6 grains of powder. And I can't even get barely 24 grains of powder in non fire form brass with a 65 grain bullet. So, and the. Um, <clears throat> Overall length measurement, the 65 grain is actually pushed out just a little bit further than what the 85 grain is. So there's still more 85 grain bullet in the case than what there is with the 65 grain bullet. So pretty significant difference. So we should be able to see uh, quite a bit of velocity increase on the 65 grain bullet when we go to the fire formed um, brass. Here's what we're going to do. I acquired some of these. We're going to load these up. <clears throat> in the non-fire formed and we're just going to shoot them i do believe we're going to try this powder not much data out there um six by 45 doesn't even show any data for it uh i'm actually going to use the 223 data that's on it um you know you got to tread lightly so we should be able to come up with a, a good load to get some fire formed brass out of it and uh hopefully it's pretty accurate you know the yellow boxes they say that uh say they're pretty good so we'll find out we'll see you guys in the next video